the valley. Not Minogue, they should be so lucky, but Dean, who's worn the number one shirt with real distinction so far this season. Here's a compilation of some of his greatest hits. And in there is one shot. What a save by Kylie. Dean Burton is in. Dean Kylie. Just got a touch. What a save. a lot of talented players, um, even you know my position. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't just you, do, you don't get through on just talent and ability alone. You've got to harness it with something, and it's a desire and a belief in your own ability to, to get you uh, to get you to the top. That was his goal 13 years ago when Coventry signed him. But one Steve Grizovich stood in his way. John Sillett did say to me. I remember he got me in and said, um, "Keep going." He said, uh, "Oggy can't go on forever." And uh, I'm thinking, he, he was thinking maybe a year, 18 months that, you know, down the line I might get me a chance. And uh, he meant an, a decade, I think. So he chose to drop down the divisions. He had six years at York, then three with Berry. Glamorous, it was not. The season got promoted. Um, you know, I think at the end of it, the uh, promotional bonus worked out at, I think it was four and a half thousand pounds or something like that. And, um, I went away and I earned, I earned that self same money in, uh, in about three weeks working with my dad laying cables on the motorways and that around the Midlands. Um, basically because I think everyone has a perception that whatever foot level you play at, if you're a footballer you've got loads of money, you've got a nice car, you've got a nice house and it just isn't the case. Now though, his career's come full circle. When selected for England's under-17s, he played alongside a striker called Shearer. Last weekend, they were on opposite sides. And while one's international career is over, the other's has been revived by the Republic of Ireland. Back then, as 17-year-olds, you're all on equal footing. You're all meant to be really the best in your age group in the country sort of thing. So uh, to see the routes and roads that different people have taken, I mean, his career is phenomenal. Um, but here we are now, like you say, we're playing the same standard, playing the same division. and trying to achieve the same things, really. Arguably the man of the match was their goalkeeper. He made some fantastic saves uh, at important times. Which has got to, you know, get a break at the right time rather than coming against these goalkeepers making great saves. Five years ago, when I was playing at Brentford, you know, no one would know if I was man of the match or was a villain of the piece, really. Um, but I, I knew that, and I know this week or next week, whatever, what how Dean Carley's performed. So too does his coach. Mervyn Day was a top-class keeper himself, first with West Ham, and later at Leeds. We really brought him in as a goalkeeper that would give us a, a level of consistency um, so you haven't really got to worry about sort of ups and downs in form you know what you get I think it, the fact that he's light and he can hit the ground and bounce up virtually straight away means that you know if he makes a, has to make a second save he's always in a good position and I, th I think obviously you know the ability to make saves in one-on-one -on -one situations as well which he's done on, on occasions as well for us this year all goes up to make uh, really what Dino is at the moment, and that is a very top, a very high class Premiership goalkeeper. And like any keeper, you have to be slightly mad. This won't be found in any coaching manual. I make a promotional video for uh, the fellow that does my gloves and boots, and um, just striking balls in, the lad serving the balls on a half volley. And uh, I did a forward roll and then turned my back to play and set off for the top corner backwards, and it struck me in the middle of the back. And people were you know, saying about yeah, it's a sixth sense for a ball and this, that and the other. And uh, I believe on tape it looks really, really good. So it's, it's just a bit of fun, really, a bit of light-hearted uh, entertainment. Really. And for entertainment, look no further than Charlton. A win today against Carly's old club, and they could go third in the table. May the 7th, we were nationwide Division 1 champions. May the 8th, we were everyone's favourites for relegation, along with your rich bitches and teams like that. Um, it's about proving them wrong as well, them, them doubters or whatever, individually and collectively. Um, I realise up and down the country people would be saying, um, you know, 
Dean Kiley looks a good keeper, or Dean Kiley, or I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not bothered. All I know is that I feel very comfortable at this level, although it's very early, early on. I feel comfortable at this level. Um, I keep putting the hours in on a training ground, keep working hard. I think I can always get 5-10% out of my game, keep raising the standards. Uh, and if I keep going like that, I'm sure I'll be fine. And that's what the club are doing collectively, and I'm sure we'll be fine.